All right. Oh my gosh, that was insane. What a trip. Hey guys, welcome back. We are here at the Goodwill. Uh, this is Harry Tornado's stomping grounds. Uh, this is half day, so we came to the bins to see if we could find some good stuff like he usually does. I'm expecting it to be pretty insane, but I've not been to one of these sale days, so I don't know what it's gonna look like in there. I've heard stories, and right now there's a little bit of a line. We got here about I guess 30 minutes before they open so and there's still a pretty decent line out there so I, I don't really know what to expect this is it's, I didn't, wasn't really we never really see anybody at the bins that much so I don't know I guess it's kind of exciting to see but I don't see Harry Tornado yet so but everybody has trash cans yeah that seems to be the move <laughs> so the people that are in line are very prepared it looks like I don't know that we are quite as prepared but since this is our first time we're gonna go in there and try to take notes and learn where we can. I don't think we know what we're getting into. Not at all. Um, about to be a wreck. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know what to expect as far as like items. Uh, every Wednesday that I've been to the bins, like not in the morning time, but like in the afternoon, it's a lot of clothes. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna be a lot of clothes again. I hate looking at clothes. I just, I not a closed person i don't know brands i don't really know what to look for so i guess that's a gonna be a learning opportunity for me it's not about brands for me i just think it's gross sounds like one nasty tug of war but i did bring my gloves this time i did learn that so, <laughs> so i'll be using that but so, yeah we're about to go in here and check it out whatever happens happens we'll see hopefully we'll find some good stuff let's go this time. go ahead go ahead all right, good luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. So I found a bunch of Carolina Gamecocks clothes and shirts and they were in great condition but after looking at the brands there was nothing special about them so I just decided to leave those behind. This was a digital picture frame. We've had success selling those in the past, but after showing it to JD, he brought to my attention that it needed a power cord, and so we left that behind. Oh, rats! Let's 
It's getting crazy up in here, man. You like the stone Nice. Do you know anything about bear paw? I see these a lot. Uh, we've been finding a ton of these bear paw boots. I've never heard of them, but they're all over the Goodwills around here. Um, this particular pair looked really new and really nice, but after checking comps, they just weren't worth keeping. Condition, but I don't know if there's any value to that um, brand or not, so we'll look it up later. almost picked up this Under Armour book bag. It looked really good. And then I noticed that that side pocket right there with the mesh had a hole in it. So unfortunately I had to leave that behind. I'm not exactly sure what brand these sandals were, but they were brand new, looked like they were never worn. Uh, but after looking them up, we decided they weren't worth keeping. But luckily they were hiding this also brand new looking pair of rainbows. And so we kept the rainbows and left the others. Thank you. Wrestling fans are pretty <coughs> dedicated. Is 
Hold the shirt. Why does nobody want that one? All right, all I, I found, JD's got a bag full, it looks too, but I'm gonna take the time to get some comps on this stuff and we'll see what we got. All right. Oh my gosh, that was insane. What a trip, what a trip. Uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> we survived. I don't know what to say, we get in there and so the method that we kind of chose was to go our separate ways and like pick a bin that looked full because there were so many people you kind of have to stake your claim yeah and it's basically people are just like staking ground and claiming territory and they will not leave that bin until they have searched every all the way bin. to the bottom and so my theory was to just pick something that looked full take time and go through it um and so that's kind of what I did. I didn't really find too much in my first bin. Um, but yeah, and like- I didn't really have a method. I was just kind of grabbing stuff that looked like it might be worth something. And I figured, you know, at the end, we can just kind of go through the bag and see what it is. And if it's not worth anything, you know, get rid of it. And at one point, you know, this lady was looking at some boots and she had her eye on those things. And I didn't know what they were, but she looked like they mattered. And she turned away, and so I stole them. <laughs> um, but I don't think they were worth anything. If, so. And it's like I said in the other video, if you see something you think might be worth it, grab it. Uh, I mean, and, and look it up later. Uh, After that last incident with those shoes, I'm just kind of really gunged. scarred for life. Yeah. <laughs> scarred for life. Totally traumatized. And so I saw those boots. I had a traumatic stress flashback, and. I stole them. Yeah, so uh, it did get chippy in here. Like the the workers were kind of getting agitated because I'm not a hundred percent what was going on. You people could were hear it. people were taking bags off of the container and like just having them on the floor, opening them up and kind of going through them. And she was like, "No, that's like that's not okay. not allowed." Yeah, I think so. Like they were staking the, the claim. They were grabbing the bag without like going through them at all, and then like taking them off to the side and going through them themselves. And so I guess. Yeah, Good usually like when that. we get here, everything's just like shrown about already. Right. So on these days, the stuff is still pretty bagged up. And so people were just kind of grabbing whole bags and like claiming them and just going through them. And she was just walking through the aisles, picking the bags up, throwing them back on the bins. And was like, this is not allowed. Right. It was insane. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I picked it up on my camera, but there were a couple of times where people were like, I was looking at that, get that back type stuff and starting to get heated. I was like, oh my God, y'all, this is donated goods. <laughs> Black Friday at Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I don't know, it was, it was it was a trip. Yeah. It was a trip, we found some good stuff. Um, I kind of uh, went through briefly what I found. Um, unfortunately, I didn't catch JD's um, while we were in there, but uh, whenever he gets home, I'm sure he'll go through the items that he found. It was a lot of clothes, a lot more clothes than yeah. I wanted, but like I said, just not a clothes person, but most of it was clothes in there. Um, you know, we got a couple goods, yeah. a couple uh, non-clothing I think we got a pretty items. good haul, considering, you know. It was only 1950. We got a lot of stuff for 1950. I got a really nice uh, golf bag that should probably cover the twenty dollars so hopefully <laughs> but yeah it was it was fun i'd do it again yeah i'd do it again we'll be better prepared next time for when we come yeah to physically and mentally <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah hopefully uh hopefully everything works out i'll look up some comps throw those up on the screen and see if this stuff can get sold we'll see you next one